Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to explain about the token types that is being used in Azure AD B2C and how they communicate with the Azure AD B2C. Come without delay, let's get started. So Azure AD B2C supports the OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connects protocol which we saw in the previous video so which makes use of the tokens for authentication and secure access to the resources. Now all tokens used in Azure AD B2C are JSON Web Token, they are also called as JWTs. Okay? So that contains the assertions of information about the bearer which means and the bearer and the subject of the token Okay, so about your information whoever has logged in. Now let's talk about a specific thing like ID token. So what is ID token? ID token is a secure digital token. It's a JWT issued by a Azure AD B2C that holds the clients, your name, email ID and all those attributes that we have, right? So the different clients that uh, for a user, those things it will have. So providing those informations of the user to the application. Now it is transmitted safely in HTTP requests between the components of the same application. Now the claims in ID token can be utilized for various purposes. One of the commonly used is to display the account information or make access to the control decisions of your applications, right? So while this ID token is signed for authenticity, it is not encrypted, okay? It is encoded to ensure that authenticity meaning what it has to do is the application or the API must validate. I'll tell you what what is mean by this. Okay, so when this token is there, when you see this token right in the browser, actually in real time, what will happen is this token before the request reaches the server, in man in the middle can attack this and tamper this token. He can add a couple more informations or modify this information and send it to the server in the middle. This is possible. Okay, hackers do that. Now when this comes right, the issuing authority has issued a token which is not the same when the application receives it if you just decode and start using it you might have a false information so we cannot do that so that's why the application should actually validate the incoming token against the issuer the adb to seek who issued this token right so that will authenticate so that there is no tamper has happened and and in the, the signature right whatever it has used to encode this has been verified that way we we know for sure that nobody has tampered in the middle of the request so that's what it is called okay now the specific claims validation can happen based on the scenario requirement like the the various scenarios so but the common validation must be performed for every situation we have to perform this but this is the underlying information why this application has to validate this okay now let's take an example so id token right uh, it's also called a personal key so what it is so uh, this is like a key that carries information about a person who owns it like if i carry a, uh, inf a key uh, it about it's about me uh, the key is holding about me like what who i am like that okay so when someone knocks on a magical door or a store's door right they show this id card like you enter to your company you show your id card right your id card is visible for your security to for for them to allow you inside right if not they don't allow everybody uh, every public in the it company or any secure location right so it contains the details like the name age all those things so that has been verified that's called uh, this id token now access token access token is a signed again it's when i say sign there's a key that is used to sign in sign means like uh, based on the key they will encode a particular information in json that's called signed okay so the access token is a signed jwt token with a java uh, json web token which is provided by the azure ad b2c now this contains the claims that indicates the permission granted to your apis Okay, so access token is always, always about the permissions. Okay, to which your which resource you have access to. While access tokens are signed, they are also not encrypted. Okay, so these tokens serves as a grant access to the APIs and resources, uh, resource servers. So upon receiving it for the said reason for why I said right, so why you have to or like verify this, this has to be verified okay now the claims verified may differ based on the scenario requirement so for each scenario this claims has to be verified and based on the claims uh, your application will do certain actions uh, according to the request 
Now, let's take an example. So what is this? This is like key grant permission to access a specific resource. Like, you know, in magical world, it's like a magical resource. And if I have to explain it in an example, so imagine there's a special room inside the secret chamber with rare spells. Now to enter, someone needs an access token. Now this acts, this token, right, specifies what spells or resources they are allowed. So like imagine Harry Potter, you might have seen Harry Potter, right? So, uh, you know, Harry, Harry Potter or Hermione, right? So who enters into this room, they might have their own uh, access token. So Harry Potter might be allowed to access certain books. Hermione might be allowed to access certain books other than Harry Potter, right? So that's what, so each access token will have, uh, you know, information about to which resource you have access to. Okay, so I hope you, you you understand this. Now, there is something called refresh token. So, refresh token in ADB2C are used in this like OR2 processes to obtain a new ID token and access token. So, it's it's an exchange of the expiring token. So, your application has been running and user has been actively working. You know, the token expiry time is coming. So, refresh token will kick in and it will say, hey, uh, this is my current token. Issue me a refresh token. Refresh token is again new access token and new ID token which will have the same set of information like permissions but the expiry time will be different okay so that's how the refresh token works and um, it's been used and there are certain details about how long it can be used and what is the maximum time that it can last and all those information right so basically at high level refresh tokens are just uh, what i just explained you so, so basically in an example right this this is key provides a way to get a new id and access token like how i was telling you without bothering the uh, the user to keep signing in again and again right in the real world example so that's how you uh, take the refresh token and then in summary right so these tokens right so these tokens are like secret keys that opens the door to a different level of information and the resources the id token tells you who someone is and the access tokens let them use specific resources and the refresh token is to help them stay in that in the same context uh, for a longer period of time by exchanging uh, the older token with the new token so that's what all about this tokens this different tokens see these information you should understand so that you know when you apply this identity management concept right uh, you know what is what is or two open id connect and what are these tokens are uh, coming into picture how they are used all those informations it's underlying fundamentals that you should understand and i hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video shortly thank you thanks for watching if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!